Hello everybody, this is Trina. I'm going to do a flip through um, real quick with my eyeballs closed and just kind of guess which one I'm doing and that's the one I land on. So um, that is it. There's an, a close up. Um, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I've been thinking about redoing these um, some of the things like being inspired by the the you know the cards and layouts in the in the catalog anyways um, just because I want to show you guys that you can that it's pretty easy to you know change it up sometimes it's not so easy and sometimes you get inspired while trying to figure out that layout or that you know design and come up with one of your own which is awesome which is I kinda did that this way um, but I actually didn't make that card uh, I set it aside to make it, and then I ended up using the, the papers. So again, I'm using, see, right there, that was, I was like, ooh, I really like those together, and that looks really good together, I should make a card like that, so I was, I was like, I might, should, I should probably set that aside, and I actually do set it aside, but then it just, you know, it doesn't happen. So I'm trying to come up with, um papers and zip strips and things from the Feels Like Home collection from Close to My Heart. I'll leave the link to that collection down below um, if you're interested. Um, yeah, I pretty much just go through and these are my scraps that I've been working with and I figure, you know, there's no point in, you know, cutting into a whole entire um, piece. So I decided, you know, that's kind of what I'm going to go for and there I go. I put that aside so that I could do it and I still end up not not making it. I still could now that I've seen it again, but um, I think, I don't know, I don't know, I've got, um, I've got a little llama, uh, a llama piñata here that I need to uh, make a card with, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm, hopefully I'll do a video on that as well. Um, for those of you guys who are interested in Fortnite or have family members, children that are interested in Fortnite, I'm making a card, a birthday card for my nephew, and he loves Fortnite, so um, I think that would be fun for him. Anyways, back to this. Um, I'm just cutting things down on this one. I needed to, on the design, it had... Yeah, two edges, the top and bottom, that were not the same, um, or that did not, you know, were not the same papers. And so I was trying to figure out which paper I wanted to use for, you know, and and how it would go together. So I don't have the same papers that that card in the catalog is made with. Um, but I do have the Feels Like Home papers. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to use what I've got and um, just use that as inspiration. So um, I decided to go ahead and use, um, it's a black, not black, I want to say charcoal zip strip with polka dots on it. And um, uh, that's what I end up using. And I totally messed this up. I was just going to um, do the top and the bottom and then I went ahead and started doing the side, and I was like, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to do the side. Like, wait, what? And then I was like, well, I've already done one side, now i got to do the other side. So I just uh, decided to do all the way around. And I still don't like that that happened, but I'm just going to let it be. It's, it doesn't, it's not worth it to fight over it. So, and then I started... Uh, putting my ATG tape on there and I was like wait a minute I don't want this flat so and I that's when I decided to just bring out my foam tape and fast forwarded that through you for you guys a little bit so it wasn't quite so long now that I look at it I think it needed a lighter color in between the the zip strip and the pink I think I guess sugar plum. I think those two colors could have, I, you know, just a very thin, like, um, linen uh, strip would have been nice. Um, but I don't do that, so. 
Now this, these, um, yeah, that, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you about that. That is a dollar store picture frame that is like a, just a uh, plastic one that you slide the picture into in the back and it's just like the whole thing is plastic. And I just um, red line taped my uh, uh, magnet to it and then that worked perfect. It just stands up there and holds my dies that I'm working with and it works out perfect. So um, I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm trying to mimic the heart that's on the card, which I do believe is from this, from these, um, uh, dies, the base card dies. Um, but I, I kind of switch it up a little bit because I have, I start out with, yeah, those are the stitched, the heart stitched dies. And then the one before was the basic heart dies. And I just, I, I think it's just too busy. I don't like the polka dot in the background. So, um, eventually I'll change that, but. And I'm going to work on the flowers, which I was thinking these would work perfect, maybe. And then they just, I don't know, they just seemed too big. Like the butterflies just seemed too big. So I decided against that. Um, the flowers that, they, that were on the original card were fairly small and didn't take up a lot of room. So um, I kind of wanted to continue that. Um, and this is where I cut the bigger heart out of just the um, the wood, what is it called, shiplap paper. I like that better. It's not it's not near as busy, and I didn't want to just go with white cardstock because it just felt like with all of the other patterns it was going to just stand out like a sore thumb because it was going to be so white. So I decided to just go ahead and use the shiplap. Uh, paper for the heart. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and use um, the budding peonies set and I, I wanted a small flower like I said before so there's actually a um, stamp on there that has two buds and they're connected and I and it has a couple of le little leaves in there and I thought that would be a perfect size um, instead of you know like I don't have the stamp set that is uh, made or that I that they used to make that so um, uh, the flowers that were on there on the original card so I decided to use what I had and the budding peonies go perfectly with the uh, Feels Like Home collection and of course then I've got watercoloring to do and I kind of skipped through um, I don't remember what I skipped through I think I was just looking through all my stamp sets just I, I'm not entirely certain why I, I know that top left one there I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to use that or what I wanted, you know, what I wanted on the front of the card because that, that wreath up there, half wreath, whatever, it looks perfect on the front of that card, which I could definitely do that, you know, um, uh, on my own, uh, on another card anyways, but, so I'm using the in Intense Black and from Close to My Heart, and this ink is amazing for watercolor, like it does, once you let it dry, which does not take very long, it does not move, um, with water, which is awesome. However, I have not had a problem cleaning it off my stamps. I mean, you do kind of, you know, just scrub it a little bit with your um, chamois or whatever, and it comes off um, as far as I do use a Stason cleaner, and that might help. Um, so, you know, if you do get it, you might want to try getting that too, which they sell uh, through Close to My Heart. So I'm just going to, I kind of stuck that down there. It was so small, I stuck it down there with, um, see, that's why you stamp it first, because it's way easier to die cut it once you stamp it. But I decided to um, distress the edges of the heart to give it a little bit of body. Um, 
I can't remember if I've put it up on foam or not. I don't think I do, but I can't really remember, so. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then... Sit that down there. Now, I... I honestly cannot exactly remember what I did here. So this stamp set is a consultant only stamp set. Um, and I love this stamp set. I've used a very, I've used a lot of different um, parts of this stamp set. And I'm really glad that I was able to have a thank you in scripty writing, oh, that didn't stay, in scripty writing that I don't know, it was the perfect size for this heart. So I decided to get a new piece of tape so that it will actually stick down. And I decided to uh, also um, season the stamp so it wasn't sticking to my paper. Now I do cut this apart later on, however this time I'm just going to mask it off pretty easy to mask off. Um, even easier to use now that I've got it taken apart from the original stamp. So um, the original stamps thank you for your business or for support for supporting my business and I wanted to use the thank you. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I like that it's got a swirly heart in it and a couple you know of details around the thank you so it worked out pretty well. Now I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do, what colors I want to use, and I'm thinking sugar plum would work nicely. Honestly, you could do a lot of different uh, colors on this one because you just have the one color in the back um, for the background. However, um, I did do the um, Sugar plum. I think I, I was gonna say. I think I spritz it with water and get it a little bit thinner, and then I go ahead and use the uh, grape purple uh, Arteza um, real brush marker or pen. Um, I think it's a marker. I can't remember what they say. Oh, they're right here in front of me. Real brush pen. Whoop! There we go. Um, for shading, so. Ah, look at that, I showed you guys. Grape purple, number 148. So I'm gonna dry it before I put the uh, great purple on there just so that it doesn't just kind of blend in because I want the shadow to stay there so I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the shading it these are very easy to shade because they've already got shading um, on the stamp set itself so um, a lot of that guesswork is taken out for you you can add some I added a little bit here or there where I thought there should have, where I wanted more to be, um, but it works pretty good. And of course you can't see because my thumb's in the way, but um, see I just fan it out just a little bit and give it a little bit more depth over the top of the sugar plum. And it doesn't add too much, but just a little bit, which I love. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this little guy. And I went ahead, went ahead and picked up the sugar plum uh, instead of water so that I can make sure that the colors blend nicely.
for the leaves, I went ahead and used um, the Real Brush pens again. Olive green and crocodile green. Oh, look at that. How smart was I? I can actually see them. Anyway, so I'm going to just paint these on here and get them blended a little bit, and then that that's pretty much what I do for my watercolor. try that on there and see how I like that and I like it that sugar plum color and the grape purple works pretty well now on the card there is some um, tw uh, it's not twine I believe it's the silver um, thread and I go ahead and uh, have some. I have some of that from one of my kits that I have, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and um, use that. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not really a thread nest uh, creator. However, it did. It did look nice on this card. Like I've seen several. Um, crafters creating nests. Um, one, I think it, it's Missy Widen, Widen that does it, and she's done it for a long time. And I, I think I've tried it once or twice, but it didn't. I don't know. It didn't really stick for me as far as you know, uh, wanting to do it on mine all the time. But every once in a while, that does really have its. Uh, it really does give it give the project a little bit of a kick um, so I like that and it worked perfect underneath this little bud it, the peony bud so I don't know about you but this card it seemed kind of plain to me I don't know what it was um, it just seemed like it needed more. I think the next thing I do... Hmm, I was thinking maybe it needed leaves or... I don't know, it needs something over there on the left. It's just too, too empty or naked. I don't know what it needs. What I was thinking, though, you know, this is where I do some uh, stamp surgery very carefully so that I can use the stamp again later. Um, yeah, I cut it in three. <laughs> but I can use all of it later, so... In fact, I'm going to use it now. I'm going to show you exactly why I cut it in thirds. Not really thirds, but you know what I mean, three pieces. So I wanted to um, send this to one of my customers and as a thank you. And I wanted to say I liked how it said thank you for supporting my business. And so I decided, you know what, I want it to say that, but I don't want it to say it all in one stamp. So it took me a little bit of, it kept sticking to my fingers, so I had to, you know, cut a, cu <laughs> a couple of pieces out. But um, I was able to uh, stamp it in the sugar plum twice, and it turned out perfect. And then I'm able to just cut around it and uh, make a little bit of a banner um, to go on the left-hand side of, of the heart. Sorry about that. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Uh, 
and this gray color actually I, th I think it's just a gray that I picked up um, it could have been a Walmart it could have been I mean, it's just for my stash um, but I do have had I thought about it I would have been able to use um, close to my heart's pebble or e and linen would have been okay but it wasn't I really kind of needed this tone very very light which pebble m might have done that but um, close to my heart now has like warm tone and cool tone uh, basic colors uh, as far as um, grays and browns and so I love that so now I am pulling out the bling gotta have some bling and I was gonna do the gold sequ or sequins just out of habit and I was like wait a minute I don't want gold sequins I have silver thread so um, I pulled out the silver sequins and kind of just spread it across there for my usual and then I pull some off and this time I actually add some sugar plum uh, the glitter gems and the me I don't know the method and I notice that I really like to go from top uh, bottom right to top left in a diagonal that direction and I don't know exactly why but that just seems to be my mo if you watch all if you watched if you've watched my card videos that's that's I'll, I, I do that a lot I d even do that on um, my layouts if I'm using uh, sequins or anything on my layouts I sp tend to spread it from bottom right to top left I, I I honestly don't know why it just happened to be that way so I'm going ahead and I picked out and changed out um, just like the gold the silver sequins have different finishes on them some of them are like a dull um, matte finish and then others are uh, actual like metallic reflective uh, chrome um, sequins and then we have the white and the clear and the uh, iridescent clear and the stars and of course we have all those in all the different sizes as well so uh, not only is that pack extremely versatile um, you can get the exact look that you want so that's kind of nice and now I'm going for bitty sparkles I thought I did some maybe it wasn't this one that I did uh, sugar plum gems on or glitter gems I swear I did that's interesting well I'm coming to the end of my video so I don't want to go over my words and cut myself off so this is it I hope you enjoyed my video and um, I'm gonna show you that was my inspiration and that is the card that was made so I will be back with another installment of this uh, st this uh, caddy inspired card and I will see you guys later thanks for watching